A very pleasant day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of Auto Review. I'm Ron De Los Reyes, and right now we're coming to you from uh, the Philippine Trade Training Center. It's just uh, walking distance from the World Trade Center in Pasay City. And of course, today we are going to bring you a preview of the Car of the Year Awards. And uh, of course, uh, joining me today is none other than a familiar voice and now a face also. <laughs> On, on radio and, and TV and uh, of course she's on uh, 94.7 Mellow Ingrid Nieto. Yes, thank you so much Sharon. Very nice to join you all today. We're all excited to find out who the winners are for the 2012 to 2013 Car of the Year Awards. Of course, uh, the search for the Car of the Year and the Truck of the Year is not really a simple endeavor because uh, our friends from Car Awards Group Incorporated really worked hard uh, every weekend for several weeks just to be able to uh, test uh, the cars and of course evaluate uh, the features and the qualities so for today we are going to give you an insight on what the tests are all about and of course uh, what the journalists are doing to be able to come up with the best choice yes what they go through it's not like it's just simple that they they just pick out a favorite car that's it it is a rigorous process of course, the Car Awards Group was founded uh, nine years ago and that is already the ninth year of uh, the Car Awards and uh, of course we are looking forward to uh, uh, next week for the uh, announcement of uh, the Car of the Year and Truck of the Year. But first, let's take a look at uh, the different videos uh, showing how our friends from Kagi do it. Today on Auto Review, we bring you the TV special of the 2012-2013 Car of the Year testing. Here we get an insight from the various car manufacturers who entered their vehicles to be tested and compete in various categories. Watch as we gather information from executives of the car companies which have invested time and resources in shaping the country's motoring landscape. For nine years now, the Car Awards Group Incorporated, or CAGI, have recognized deserving vehicles for the Car of the Year title. The group, now composed of 50 motoring journalists from the nation's leading broadcasts, print and online media, spent six months this year to choose the best vehicle out in the market today. Procedures done for the qualitative tests at Eton Centuries in Quezon City and the quantitative tests at Clark International Speedway in Pampanga have now been further enhanced. This takes cue as the group carefully considers the needs, wants, and tastes of the car buying public. For one, the group meticulously deliberated on the results gathered from the technical tests done on the racetrack. All 18 nominees for the year 2012-2013 had to be subjected to acceleration, braking, and handling tests. All nominated vehicles were repeatedly driven by qualified performance drivers to get the best results. Official times and figures were then measured using a RaceLogic V-Box, which uses GPS to track data to get the most accurate figures. With the inclusion of the Truck of the Year for this season, Skilled testers also measured various components, such as the vertical clearance and other off-road potential features of each pickup truck. Since 2004, Kagi's primary objective has been to empower the automotive consumers by providing them the best information available from the many existing products in the automotive market today. This 2012-2013 marks another new and exciting season in the country's search for the most coveted Philippine Car of the Year and the Philippine Truck of the Year. 
Watch closely as we document how strict the procedures are to be able to determine what vehicle really is the best among the rest. Up next, let's lend our ears to what car company executives have to say with regards to the vehicles they have entered for the 2012-2013 Car of the Year and the efforts done by the Car Awards Group Incorporated. Only Caltex contains Tecron that cleans your engine as you drive. For car of the year 2012-2013, we entered uh, two Mazda vehicles, the BT50 4x4 uh, pickup truck and the CX-5 uh, SUV. Now, both of them are really strong. Uh, which one we think has the best chance? I think they both have their own merits and they're both strong and they both deserve to win. They both have different uh, winning features because they both cater to a different type of uh, market, although they're both zoom zoom vehicles. The CX-5 definitely won that is, is uh, much stronger with the Sky Active engine and the Sky Active feature. And that, by the way, is the uh, car of the year in many countries already uh, now uh, because of its fuel, fuel efficiency and the engine technology. The BT50 has a very, very strong engine. It's a 3.2 i5, uh, created 200 horsepower for pickup truck. So that is the strongest and most powerful pickup truck in the country today. I think, uh, from my observation, it's getting better and better every year. Uh, and is improving in terms of how the testers are done. It's a lot more transparent, robust, uh, and I actually know that the testing goes through a period of eight weeks with uh, 25 testers in different kind of condition. Uh, it is necessary, I think, for the industry to have a car of the year, and uh, Kagi is doing a really good job of uh, conducting the test. I think this kind of industry standard and this testing and this uh, category of awards is number one beneficial first to the customer. I think Kagi and uh, Koti is doing the customers a favor by educating them, giving them uh, uh, data and opinions and views that are by, cert by a certain standard. Uh, beneficial to the brand, definitely, right? It creates uh, competition, it creates uh, transparency, it awards uh, and rewards the best of the best in the industry. So I think it's good for everybody, including the industry itself. As long as Kagi has its role and they strongly support the customers and industry in providing uh, robust and good data and strong reviews in educating the customers, uh, we will always support that uh, process. They really should go check out the new Master 6 uh, and then to understand what the new Master 6 is all about. It's about its new Sky Active technology, 
it's the it's the best car in the segment we believe around the world and it's just been launched in the US, uh, Europe and around the world and now we get to launch it in the Philippines. For this year, Colombian Autocar Corporation uh, participated in the Car of the Year uh, competition and uh, we fielded our Kia Rio. Our Rio, we have it available in several variants. We have the entry level, the 1.2 liter LX model and then we have the mid-series variant which is the EX model with a 1.4 engine both available in manual and automatic transmission and our top of the line is our hatchback which is available in a 1.4 liter engine automatic transmission we entered the mini coupe and the roadster I think both have a strong chance in its category both vehicles have great handling and the power is superb the design features of the car are unmistakably mini. The models entered are both the Cooper S trim level, meaning you get advanced technology not just under the hood, but all over the car. Things like mini connected and over boost function through the turbocharged engine. We bagged an award last year and this shows that we sell cars that are superior in its class. The awards carry great credibility both inside the industry and with our brand's fans. We have already seen the great value that Kagi delivers. Our entries for this year's Car of the Year are Montero Sport, GLS, Maybach Gasoline, three variants of the Lancer EX 1.6, MX Automatic, GLX Automatic, GLX Manual, and four variants of the All New Village. GLS CVT, GLS Manual, GLX CVT, GLX Manual. From all of our very promising entries, I believe that the superior value for money offered by the all new Mirage will give us a big chance in winning the Car of the Year 2012 to 2013 award. For the Montreal Sports GLS Mavic V6 gas, it has progressive power delivery from the smooth and highly refined Mavic V6 engine while at the same time providing excellent fuel economy for its class. For the Lancer EX 1.6, we balance power and fuel efficiency from the new 1.6 liter Maybach engine. Exceptional space, refinement, and the convenience features inside and out. One of the most inexpensive C-segment car in the market. It provides a lot of excellent features its price. For the Mirage, it has a standard packaging for such a small car. The Mirage is loaded with convenience features such as push button engine start and start button and the touch screen audio system with GPS navigation. It provides superior legroom for its class, beating a handful of cars a class higher. The 1.2 liter 3 cylinder Maybach engine is able to achieve up to 21 km per liter while not limiting the driving fan. Thunder pickup is uh, powered by a 160, 160 horsepower 2.8 liter uh, Cummins engine. 
It's uh, CRDI and uh, Eurofoil compliant and uh, transmission manufactured by Jetrad and uh, chassis designed by uh, Lotus. Photon is still a commercial vehicle brand. So with that, our target market is really the ones in the businesses. But with the Photon Thunder, our target market broadens. We do not limit ourselves to the SMEs anymore. Because it's safety and comfortable features, the Photon Thunder can also cater to the families and for private use. Photon envisions itself to be the premier commercial vehicle brand in the Philippines. And with that, we still see a lot of improvements for the company, for the brand, and for our product line. This is just our first generation of the Photon Thunder. We can expect more in the coming years. And even for our whole passenger vehicle lineup, we can expect new models. I think the exposure and the, and the, the mere fact that uh, people uh, experts from the industry will be able to test your car, test your pickup. That way, uh, we'll be able to send the message across that we have a better or a much improved uh, pickup. The test fest is a challenge to all the manufacturers uh, with all the extensive uh, parameters being followed and uh, being side by side with all the other brands, I think. Uh, it's a very good uh, test for our uh, pickup. The nominated models are Honda Civic 1.8e, 2.0EL, and Honda CRV 2.0LX, 2.4EX, 2.0S, and 2.4SX, and Honda Odyssey 3.5, and Honda Pilot 3.5. We do commend the officers and members of Kagi for staging this test fest and awarding annually. Through its collective and valid expertise, this event provides the Philippine motorists and consumers useful and informative analysis of all automobiles in the market. Well, we're really excited to enter four of our all-new models. We entered the 1.4 Fiesta Automatic, as well as the all-new Ford Focus 2.0-liter Sport Plus and the Titanium Plus, and of course, the class-defining 2.2-liter Ranger XLT, both in manual and automatic transmissions, as well as the very popular 2.0-liter Ford Explorer EcoBoost XLT. We're keeping our fingers crossed, uh, but historically we've been doing very well in uh, the subcompact as well as the mid-size luxury SUV. So definitely this year we look forward to receiving a couple awards, um, perhaps maybe for the Ranger, but of course we're keeping our fingers crossed. It's something that we definitely at Ford always look forward to. We come to the test fest in full force with all our vehicles and our team. And it's also a perfect opportunity for our partners in the media and our testers to really get to know our vehicle and also experience our vehicle and our features, of course. Um, the car awarding, especially when it's joined with Mia's, is something that our whole team looks forward to. It's a fun evening and we're definitely looking forward to participating at the awardings this year. We are proud of the whole Toyota lineup. 2012 was a year of fun and excitement as Toyota has launched a total of 10 models. This was highlighted as we uncovered the much-awaited 86. Given that the car is known for its good reviews and rich heritage, we believe that this is an exciting vehicle and a strong contender for this year's car awards. We also have entered the Camry, the Fortuner, the Avanza, Hilux, and the Prius C. Kagi's fair judgment of all the vehicles tested shows your commitment to keep the motoring public well informed. Toyota supports organizations that enable them to have truthful accounts of not only Toyota vehicles, but also other vehicles in the local industry. For this year's Car Vier Awards, we fielded the two-door Evoque and the four-door Evoque, both of them having a 2.2-liter diesel engine. The Evoque is a very critically acclaimed car all over the world and it's won so many awards. Uh, in almost every publication has praised it. So, of course, the Evoque already has a track record of many, many awards. The Evoque is really known as the lightest Range Rover ever made, the most aerodynamic Range Rover made, and the most fuel-efficient Range Rover ever made. Personally, what I really like about the car is the suspension. 
I've always supported the Car of the Year awards and uh, we try to help out by sending the cars that qualify for the year. I've noticed that year in year uh, there have been struggles but the group has always managed to pull through and get better year on year. This place, it's where our heart is free to choose its companions. Where life's littlest joys help us cross our biggest obstacles. It's where journeys are better defined. driven with a purpose. Live brilliant. Hyundai. Our entries are the Eon, the Accent Touchback, the Sonata Limited, the Tucson Limited, the Santa Fe two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive, the Genesis Coupe 2-liter, and the Genesis Coupe 3.8-liter. Of course, the Santa Fe carries a powerful engine as well as our newly launched model, the Accent Touch, which is the only subcompact passenger car equipped with a CRDI diesel engine. The Genesis Coupe, on the other hand, delivers more power than its competitor. And in terms of premium features, models like the Tucson Limited and the Santa Fe already have a push start system which can't be found in most of our competitors' variants. Other premium features also include the flex tier and the electronic stability program. First, I'd like to thank Kagi, no? We are the 2011-2012 car of the year with our model Elantra. So let me take it from two perspectives. First, from a brand perspective, the Coty Awards definitely affirmed our brand positioning for the Elantra and it was able to concretize our brand promise to the consumer as a modern premium life space offering. From the second perspective, that is from the business perspective, the Coty Award provided a more compelling reason for customers to choose Hyundai, which yielded better sales with outcomes, being now number two in the passenger car B segment. will be fielding out five vehicles this year for the Car of the Year Awards. These are the Chrysler 300C, the Chrysler Town & Country, the Dodge Durango, the Jeep Wrangler Diesel, and the Jeep Grand Cherokee Diesel. We feel that all these units will be good contenders for Car of the Year. The Test Fest is the perfect venue to prove um, everything that we're saying about the brand. Um, it's something that helps us because it lends credence to whatever's written on a brochure, whatever is written about by um, other media, what, and what customers say. It's, it's, it's the perfect venue to validate everything that um, we say. Pijo being a new entry into the Philippine car market, uh, we took this opportunity to field in all of our vehicles in, in our uh, local lineup. And these are the uh, 3008 crossover the 5008 uh, MPV, the 508 uh, Executive Sedan, and the RCZ Sports Car. If you ask me, I think all of them have a great chance of winning in their respective categories, and even the Car of the Year itself. You know, the test fest and the awarding conducted by Kagi every year is something that the entire industry looks forward to. And uh, we're especially proud to be part of it this year. We're excited and we look forward to being you know, a significant player, not just in the entire testing, but also throughout the awarding. 
Chevrolet introduced four new exciting models. We introduced the Chevrolet Colorado, the Chevrolet Trailblazer, the Chevrolet Sonic. The Chevrolet Orlando was a late entry back in 2011. We are extremely proud of our Chevrolet entries. We believe that each Chevrolet vehicle that we rolled into the local market bears the exceptional quality, performance, and great value for money that our clients truly deserve. On behalf of Volvo Philippines, I would like to thank the members of the Car Awards Group Incorporated for taking time to test all these cars. Here's a complete list of 2012-2013 Car of the Year nominees. So that's how the members of uh, the Car Awards group do it. Uh, it's a meticulous job, you know, it's really for car enthusiasts and uh, of course uh, for those who love cars and who love to write uh, about uh, the cars that they test drive. Yes, they really do spend so much time and commit to it and it's not like, like what you mentioned, it's not just one weekend, it's not just test driving them but taking it through different conditions and also taking note of the outstanding features. Maybe uh, one of these days, Ingrid, you'll be able to join us? Yes, I'll try. I'll try my best. I may not be um, at par with uh, the members, but I will. I'll try what I can. All right. Now, this is only a preview of uh, the Car of the Year Awards. In uh, the coming week, we're going to show you, of course, the highlights of uh, the actual awards night uh, itself. And uh, on that uh, telecast, we are going to find out who will be the Car of the Year and which one will be the very first pickup truck of the year. And of course, uh, there will be other categories, so uh, uh, join us in uh, that uh, next telecast, the special for the car of the year. Thank you. All right, so thank you very much, Ingrid, for uh, joining me here. Hey, thank you. <laughs> and uh, of course, uh, we hope to see you again next week, uh, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Ingrid, this is Ron Velosay saying thank you for joining us and drive safely all the time.